What's my advice for paramedics that want to get into flight paramedicine and be a flight paramedic? I, I would say that the there's two big things that that really help. First, or maybe three. So first off is to be patient. Okay, don't rush to the flight paramedic job. Uh, because the ground job is going to get you the experience you need, the understanding that you need when it comes to different things. Um, and you, when you when you work in the job, you'll start to get more experience with kind of how operations work. So that's the first thing is that don't be impatient. Be patient with it. Understand that it's a progression of things and that experience on the ground is going to heavily help you with your job um, as a flight paramedic. That's the first thing. Second thing is develop your relationships and develop your professional relationships around flight paramedicine and around flight paramedics. Now, whether that's um, at a company that you want to work for and you start to get to know the flight paramedics, you start to get to know the managers, you start to do some training with them if they'll allow you to come in on their training and, and really going to get to know them. So that would be the second thing is really develop that part of your of the job or sorry, to, uh, that part of your uh, your life is really develop your relationships with the companies and with the people that you want to be involved with. I think that's a really big thing because it's uh, a lot of the time it's going to be about who you know and how they perceive you and how they know you as opposed to um, as opposed to what your qualifications are. A lot of people are going to be qualified to the jobs that you're going to be posting for. But if the manager or the people that are deciding or the practitioners that are part of that company know you and you've done training with them and you've had conversations with them, then you're as le you're less of a risk for that company to hire because they they know who you are. They don't know you from paper. They know who you are. And I think that's a really big thing. So develop that relationship. And the third thing is to focus on learning. And the learning doesn't stop at paramedic school. The learning stops when you're done your career, truly. And so understanding physiology to a very deep level, understanding pathophysiology to a very deep level, understanding your pharmacology to a very deep level, those are all three things that are going to be really big for you to, to understand. And they're going to set your foundation properly for getting into flight paramedicine. So those are the three things. Don't be impatient. Develop your social circle and your relationships, professional relationships with the people that you want to get involved with so they know you. And the third thing is to continue to learn, especially in physiology, pathophysiology, and pharmacology. All you need to do is hit the link in the bio and we're going to send all of our daily videos straight to your email so you can get your daily dose of medicine. Hit the link in our bio and sign up right now.